Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have my first Spring Zara haul of 2021. It's around that time where the stuff on Zara is starting to get good. Like the past couple of weeks or so, things have been a little bit ropey. I have not been enjoying the website and I am one of those very rare people that does enjoy the Zara website. Partly because it gives me a lot of content to make reels on. If you haven't seen them, I will link them, but also because I actually enjoy the photography. However, they do always have like a couple of weird transitional phases throughout the year where the stock is a little bit dead, not great, not inspiring it's just not good but the spring things are starting to roll in there's like this combo of spring and summer which is a little bit interesting but i kind of understand that the majority of us are almost thinking ahead especially those of us in the uk we are definitely thinking ahead to kind of june time right now so i can definitely see why high street retailers are almost like skipping that weird like winter to spring transitional phase that is non-existent this year and i'm kind of here for it because i love spring fashion so yeah if you want to see some great basics or you're just looking for a little bit of spring inspo then keep on watching first up you know this bright yellow number is gonna be a Zara one. This is like a ribbed knit body from them in their classic like racer strap style which I love so much. I think it gives the illusion of actually having a much smaller chest slash like smaller shoulders. I actually have quite wide shoulders and I think this cut actually does a lot for this kind of area so I'm a big fan of them. But yeah I'm loving the fact that they have done this kind of like sunset yellow colour this year. It's really lifting my mood. They also do it in this kind of body racer sleeve style and they also are doing it in their seamless range which is more like loungewear athleisure style stuff but it's like this flannelly material which I don't know if I love quite frankly so it's not appearing in this video because it didn't get my thumbs so up. Just to give you an idea of what the yellow body looks like this is it. I've paired it with my ASOS jeans which have like the split flare. Is that what we're gonna call it? I don't know. I actually think I prefer the yellow with this colour jeans. I think especially because of the orangey stitch work to the jeans as well. It ties it in really really nicely. I've just paired it with my Zara nude little kitten heels which I actually genuinely <laughs> If I am having a really bad day and I need to feel like a boss for like five minutes, I just put these on with my outfit because they always just make me feel that little bit more full together. Yeah, this is it. Close up. I love this colour. It is so beautiful. It's definitely one of my top recommendations from this video. It's so cute. They do this body in a number of colours as well. If colour is not your thing, like bright colours are not your thing, they do it in this lovely like creamy neutral tone, which I will get so much wear of. I love this creamy tone at the moment. I'm really obsessed with it. They're really nice whether you're layering them under cardigans, leather jackets, whatever the vibe. They're just a really great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. And then this is the cream body with the same pair of jeans. I actually don't love the cream body i'm not sure i'm entirely sold on the tone of it can't decide this might be one that goes back just because i'm not sure i will 100 percent get the wear out of it it's a nice biscuity tone and i think it lends itself nicely to giving the look a more natural kind of feel yeah i can't decide Can you let me know what you think please thank you and they also have this lovely little body as well which is in this beautiful lilac color which i just love it's a very great muted toned lilac which i think is very very wearable it's very similar to their classic bodies which come in the black white and nude in comparison they're a very smooth material very like light curry compared to the body i'm wearing now which is like a ribbed knit if you don't like that kind of material that kind of snags on things like your nails can like scratch on it really easily then you're not gonna love this pre-warning a fabric like this or their classic bodies will be way more up your street this is a very like smooth stretchy fabric this is actually thicker though than their classic bodies so if you feel a little bit weird about the fact that you can't wear bras with these or it's very hard to you have to get a really really low cut strapless bra or just like have the little like sticky pads that go over but this is actually a bit thicker so if you make sure that you err on the side of caution and size slightly down like if you're between size Sizes, always go for a small it holds you in a little bit more and this is definitely like a much thicker material so it will hold you in quite nicely but it's definitely not one for wearing a bra with i don't know if you can see very well just when i'm holding it up but the straps like it's like a crossover back so it's not going to be one that is definitely for everyone but i personally think it's a really beautiful color and a really nice addition into your wardrobe for spring this one i don't love and i think it might just be that i need a smaller size because i've got like either gaping here or i have gaping here and this kind of sits a little bit funny it's just like not quite right i feel like it being a size smaller would maybe stop any gaping on the chest the more i do this <laughs> the better it sits but yeah it's a little bit awkward when you first put it on as well because the crossbody straps don't really sit where they should be so you almost have to like reposition them yourself i'm not sure 
let me know what you think. I really like that they do these bodies in different colours as well. I think it's a really nice way to be able to affordably interject some colour into your wardrobe. These rib bodies I think are around like $14.99. So just a very affordable way to kind of like inject some colour into your wardrobe without like breaking the bank. And they last really well as well. They wash really well. I have always been really happy with my Zara bodies. For those that don't like bodies, they also have these really cute little halter tops. They did these last year and they're bringing them back. I love when brands just like kind of repeat the same thing year on year. But I love the fact that they're doing it in in this sage green color now it's like a grazy green it's really really beautiful i love these i think they're so flattering i have one in like a minky dusky rose color and i just absolutely loved it i know you guys loved it i got it in around like september time annoyingly i had a necklace which like fully like bobbled it and i will not be wearing that necklace again it's actually borderline looks like I'm wearing it but I love this color I think they're so so flattering they come in so many different colors and they cost 9.99 and I just love them so much I'm so happy they do it in this color because I just think this is the most gorgeous color they're so affordable and very versatile little pieces so yeah love I love as suspected love it love it love it love it this one is just the cutest color i love the fit it fits exactly as my like dusky pink one did from the summer so cute it's such a nice like springy tone as well i love a green for spring groundbreaking i know but yeah it's really cute I am back at it again with the stirrup leggings. I am determined to make a pair of these work. We will see how that goes. These are a pair that are very like trouser style as opposed to like classic leggings. They've got that kind of trouser seam that runs down the front. So they're a little bit smarter, but very, very comfy, very stretchy. So yeah, these are very important for someone like me that works from home and has to get dressed in order to like be productive. Like pajamas are for sleeping in. I will nap at 3 p.m. if I stay in my pajamas. I have never done that. I don't allow myself to do that. However, I still like to be comfy but feel like really pulled together and i think these are one of those pieces that are like perfect for that because they've got that like stretch and comfort level to them but with the like smart look and i really love that vibe so these are the leggings with my gucci loafers which i've just dug out of retirement and i'm so happy about it they are looking a little bit beaten up but i'm hopefully going to bring them back to life and i really like the leggings with them i really like the fact that the stirrup on them comes up quite high on the leg it's a real statement piece and something that i really like about it i don't know if everyone's gonna love them i think they're a bit of a my item i do also want to show you these leggings with the striped jumper so i'm going to change into that now okay so this is the striped jumper with the stirrup leggings which i love i've got some shoe options <laughs> because I actually didn't like the other two pairs of shoes with this outfit. Hear me out, I really love the idea of the ugly sandal with the stirrup leggings, especially because the ugly sandal is in the same like color palette as the jumper. It's a statement, it's a vibe. I don't know if everyone's gonna love it, but I think for like styling around the home, this is how I will be wearing it. So I've also brought you a boot option. Let's see, I actually haven't tried these leggings on the boot yet. Now, I would definitely put a sock on and it would help hold my stirrup down in place a little bit. But I would say when pairing a boot with these leggings, this is like the minimum boot height on the leg that you would want to go for because any lower and you will get a tiny bit of the cut showing through. However, you could make a complete statement out of that and go for a very low cut boot. But on the whole, I'm really happy with these. I think they're a great staple piece that will see me through the springtime and that I'll continue to wear in basically every season other than summer maybe on the cold summer days who knows now around this time of year zara are always smashing it with their midi skirt selection i have bought some of my favorite midi skirts i've ever owned from zara over the years the one i bought last year was a creamy kind of ecru color satin midi skirt and i still wear it now i'm still so excited to wear it this summer however at the moment zara doesn't have the biggest selection of midi skirts they have a few different colors but i can kind of tell that that is going to be the next thing to drop i'm that used to the zara website that i can kind of predict what's coming and when and they say i'm not talented but anyway the one midi skirt that they do have in is this and i snapped it up they didn't have it in my size fyi so i've ordered two sizes you know when you just don't know what the sizing is going to be like and i was like well maybe i can get into an extra small and then i was like laughing at myself i was like lol no we'll get the medium as well and just see if we can take the medium in so i'm gonna see we're gonna see because it is actually a zip up so you know it depends for reference i always get asked 
in the comments of these videos what my height is. I'm five foot two. I know a lot of people find my channel via these videos. But yeah, for those of you who struggle with the length of things like me, especially with midi skirts, they can kind of border on maxi skirts sometimes. I always find the most flattering feature of a midi skirt is a slit down the side. It looks great on everyone. There is not a soul alive that doesn't benefit from the slit in the side of a midi skirt. But if you're shorter, it reminds the eye that you have legs and it just kind of gives that illusion of a little bit more height. It also comes with this shirt, which I would say the key piece actually is the skirt. Like for me, I would take the shirt or leave it. However, this shirt is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It's got this lovely like tie bit at the front. It's elasticated at the back. So you kind of just throw it over your head and you're ready to go. Again, this would look lovely with a little bralette underneath. You could go for something really cute and lacy or even just something quite simple. But this is a lovely one for spring, summer. It'll kind of get you through those warmer days in the spring and those cooler days in the summer. And for the quality and the kind of designer look of it, I just can't fault it. I would say this is absolutely gonna fly off the website. I am in the extra small people, trust me. No one is more shocked than I am. So I think it might be fair to guesstimate that these sizes probably run a little bit larger. Because I'm definitely not an extra small. So if you are between sizes, it might be best to size down. Either way, I'm not complaining because it means that one of the skirts works and I was so <laughs> determined to have one of these work. I really had this vision for how I wanted to wear a skirt like this this summer and Zara literally answered my prayers. So I'm so happy. The top I am wearing in a size small. Both actually have like zip fastenings. The top also has one, which I don't know if it's entirely necessary because it has an elasticated back so you can get it on really easily and obviously the collar is really wide i guess it's a nice thing to have especially if you're trying to put this on over like hair and makeup it's probably helpful I have styled the top and placed it a little bit wider on the shoulders and that's purely because i don't really have the length in my body for these two items to sit really nicely together it is an issue i have with most cords and i am getting very used to that so what i've done is just placed it a little bit wider and it helps the top to sit a little bit higher which i just think is a tiny bit more flattering it gives a little bit of midriff shine but not a lot. We don't need a lot because we've got a big slit up the side of the leg, but I love the combination of the two together. I think they'll work really, really well in my wardrobe with other items separately as well. But I love how relaxed the vibe of it is and I really like the ruching across the stomach. It's ideal for when you're having like a really nice summer's day and you have wine and like some food in your garden and you've just like eaten loads and who knows because you've got like the ruching over your stomach. So cute. Can we talk about this? This is the most gorgeous soft knit. I am obsessed, like the color, it's that lovely kind of warm creamy tone, but not warm in like a yellow sense, like in a almost like pinky toned, like that really beautiful ecru color with black stripes, very YSL vibes. Oh, I just love it. Some of you might have seen on my Instagram that I wore these denim jeans. They're like a black denim with like a vintage thread running through them, rose gold buttons and a slit down the front of the kind of flare. It's such a lovely pair of jeans. I'm really obsessed with them at the moment. Real 90s vibes, but I thought this would pair so perfectly with them. Even just with a pair of black skinnies, if we're just day to day it, a pair of mom jeans, this would look lovely. But with the leggings that I showed you earlier, this would look amazing. Just with leggings in general, amazing with that black pair of jeans. I'm just so excited about this. This will be, this is my spring like knit. It is that very soft material and it's 29.99. So I'm not thinking that it's made of anything absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's acrylic, polyester and nylon, which makes a lot of sense to me because it has that weight, but that bounce to it at the same time. So this is what the striped jumper looks like. I love it. I'm so, so happy with it. I feel really nice and warm and snuggly in it, which is lovely because it is a little bit chilly today. I think this is the jumper I'm gonna be snuggling up with for my Zoom meeting this afternoon. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I've just tucked it into these leggings. So it's making it a little bit more of a crop, but this is the kind of overall length of it. I think it's a really nice length, like a nice regular length. On me, it's like slightly longer and kind of just half covers my bum. But on someone who is like average height, I think it would just be that kind of regular jumper length. I love the fact that it has a slightly higher neck. It's not just like your regular round neck and the sleeves aren't too big and billowy they're that perfect like not too long but not too short kind of sleeve i'm very very happy with the cut and fit of this it's just like a nice timeless classic which you really could keep in your wardrobe forever like this will never not be a cute little piece to have in your wardrobe and just for reference this is the striped jumper with the jeans that I was talking about and I just love them together. They feel like a really vintage vibe paired together but I really really love that and I've just paired them with these little Zara sandals. These kind of sandals are an absolute staple in my life. I love them. I will have cold feet. I don't care. We have an absolute wardrobe staple next. This is a shirt 
but not just any shirt because this shirt is also a body which this might not sound like it's for everyone and it probably won't be but for someone like me i hate when i want to wear a shirt tucked into something and then i have to spend ages like getting that tuck just right and then i also crinkle the shiz out of my shirt and then have to steam it later it's annoying and this though i'm not obviously wearing shirts everywhere at the moment because who really is you know i'm definitely rocking more of a like smart cozy cash vibe at home however in terms of like an investment piece this is an investment for me and i don't mean in terms of it's going to make me money back i mean like future proofing my wardrobe this is going to be so handy year on year on year on year on year on year Whenever I want to wear a shirt tucked into something, this is going to be it because I don't actually have to tuck it. It's genius. And why did this not exist before? Someone please tell me. It costs $25.99 and it has little shoulder pads as well, which you might think, oh no, but actually not very noticeable and gives you like a light, nice little bit of structure. But yeah, I've got a size small. Very, very, very happy with it. I wore it the other day. Okay, so we have the white shirt, which I have also paired with these little like Bauman navy kind of inspired shorts. I absolutely love them. The white shirt, I can't get enough of this. Like I loved it when I first tried it on and trying it on again now, I actually love it more. I've left it a little bit more unbuttoned than I have previously when I've worn this again in the reel that I talked about you can see me wearing this and I had it like buttoned a little bit higher I actually love it with like a white bra underneath it's a little bit of a statement this is actually really old like bridal lingerie don't ask I just love bridal lingerie even though I'm not a bride is that bad luck me I love it even more unbuttoned I think because of the padding on the shoulders it lends itself really nicely to then having a more relaxed shape around the chest and it then obviously tucks so beautifully into anything i think this is one of those pieces that would suit so many people for a lot of different reasons like i don't dress in a particularly corporate way i'm very much more of a casual vibe and i still love this so i think this will suit a lot of people and their different styling needs but yeah love it love the fit of it love it next up we have two fantastic little basic zara pieces and these will really do through spring and summer as well these go really nicely over like white shirts so you know your meetings your zoom calls you want to look smart on the top half just like wear your leggings on the bottom half this over a shirt just looks so lovely i got a size small it costs 11.99 and it's just so great also looks really really beautiful with a pair of mom jeans as well and it also comes in the black so I'm going to show you the black top in a more casual down way, just so you get some inspo for now, but I couldn't resist showing you the yellow top. Styled in a slightly smarter way because it just looks incredible. It basically looks incredible with any kind of bottoms that are like a white or an e-crew kind of nudie tone. And these trousers are actually from Zara as well. They're current-ish season. I got them maybe a month or so back. I will link them if they're still in stock, but the top pairs so perfectly with them. I got a size small and for reference in like dress sizes, I'm a size eight at the moment. So I'd definitely say it's like a true to size fit and it's definitely made to be a little bit more fitted. If you want to layer it over other pieces, I would say if you're between sizes, maybe to sides up. So if I really wanted to layer this over like shirts and things or even like jumpers or knitwear, I might go up a size. Yeah, the color is so gorgeous and I love this like square cut neckline i actually think it's very very flattering the only thing i would say is that my chest is quite short and i could probably just to make it super flattering do with a little bit more lift i might maybe take the straps up a little bit and then we have the black top which i've paired with this lovely ribbed knit skirt from new in which are a really amazing sustainable brand that i love so much and this skirt is just one that i'm absolutely obsessed with and i just wear it so much it is so comfy and i know i will have it in my wardrobe four years it works so well with this top i feel like this top really elevates the skirt and helps to give the look a little bit more structure i throw my beige trainers on with it just to give it a really casual vibe so they all pair really nicely together and i just think this top is such a great versatile piece to have in your wardrobe and i love the fact that they do it in different colors so if you want to add a pop of color into your wardrobe then you can do with the yellow one but if you love your neutrals and your monochrome you can just stick with the black and they're just really easy like timeless versatile little pieces that will work with so many different items in your wardrobe then we have a couple of skirts and hear me out i know we're not all probably that interested in wearing skirts right now but these i just thought were really nice classic pieces i actually ordered these these are part of cohorts and i ordered them for reels and had full intentions to send them back but they stuck out to me as such great classic pieces for my wardrobe that i was like actually I feel like I will regret sending that back because these are really, really timeless. So we've got this skirt, which is in a lovely nude color. It has a matching blazer, which is gorgeous, but the blazer on me, because my body is very short, it hits a really, 
really not ideal point but i thought this one would be lovely for the transitional seasons with like a black high neck knit and then a cute pair of boots you know the vibe so this is the nude skirt and i've just paired it with a black like high neck really fine knitted jumper this one i've had for years from asos and i just love it's really nice and fitted and tucks really really well in so many things in my wardrobe but especially skirts if you've watched previous zara videos you will have seen me tuck this into the like leather grey kind of khaki tone skirt back in the autumn and that was like a go-to staple outfit for me and this skirt is actually a really similar fit to that except it's in a more like tailored material it has this little like cut on the leg which i really like but i don't think like is for everyone but i personally really like it the only difference being that that skirt was actually called a score and it just had a tiny bit of material in the middle just to kind of like shield you i guess it fits really really well i got a size small and it fits really well around the waist it has like a zip up closure here and it's got like a nice kind of mix between being like a fitted skirt and being a line it's like not one or the other i think this could work really nicely with like a little cute white bralette for the summer as well some kind of fitted vest top situation i think would also pair really really nicely with it so that felt like a really smart addition to my wardrobe i then also kept these these have a matching blazer very balmain style it's really really gorgeous the blazer i just didn't feel like i would get the wear out of but i was looking at these and i was like actually over the summer i will get the wear out of these these were just like a really simple body would be gorgeous they're that kind of like nautical vibe which isn't normally my style but i like how classic they are and i like how cute they would look with just a simple black zara body just very classic very easy to wear it's also that piece that would look really lovely dressed up as well just a really nice versatile easy summer piece the pockets on these are also real which i love and they have a zip closure up the side and i just think they're beautiful so these are the shorts which i just love i really like the fact that they are a little bit longer and they fit really beautifully like around the waist i've got a small but the leg is like a little bit wider so they're not meant to be like super tight and they're a little bit longer i just think they're a really lovely classic pair of shorts i've tucked the white body shirt into them and they work really really well together they also pair really nicely with these shoes that have like the gold chain detailing across the front of them the gold and the gold just works really really beautifully together and then the tone of these shoes on me really helps to elongate and give the illusion of like a barely there shoe and a lot more leg length which i love so this is obviously like a more smarter way that you could work these shorts into your wardrobe but they would also work really really beautifully with just a plain white t-shirt as well like i said a really simple knit there's so many different ways that you could style these up and they'd also look really cute with like trainers and sandals in the summer as well moving on i'm going to quickly talk shoes with you i get a lot of questions on shoes mostly regarding whether they are comfortable so i'm going to give you like the comfort factor with all of these shoes in this video i love shoes but due to covid i obviously haven't been particularly shoe heavy over the past year however with the end in sight but also with the fact in mind that Zara is just going to town at the moment on its like designer inspired shoes. I couldn't let these pass me by. Zara are one of my favorite brands for shoes. I don't know if I'm very lucky with my feet, but I generally tend to find their shoes on the whole very comfortable. There's only one pair, which were my chunky plain black boots, which I struggled to break in, but once I broke them in, I honestly love them to bits now. So with that in mind, I feel very comfortable purchasing shoes from Zara. And like I said, some real designer dupes, so I could not let them pass me by these are so dior inspired i am just obsessed i'm not gonna lie out of all of them these are probably the trickiest to walk in because they come down so low on the foot and are obviously not like a sling back or anything like that they're just an open back kind of newel style kitten heel little vibe i have another pair like this from zara which have the quilting to them and they're in a black they are much easier to walk in than these so in terms of the practicality these are not that vibe if i wore these to london for meetings i would be getting the ubers or switching my shoes but in terms of the look of them i am obsessed i love them they're not uncomfortable i got a size five they fit fine and they are just so pretty so versatile and they really elongate your leg it looks stunning so these are the nude mesh kind of dior inspired shoes i absolutely love them i have to say the more i walk around in them the more i'm getting used to the fact that they are obviously very flip floppy and they are becoming much much easier to walk in but definitely out of all of the shoes as a whole i'd say these are the slightly less impractical pair but they are just so beautiful as you can see they work really really well with my zara trousers and my zara top no the color isn't practical but i absolutely love them and for the price i just think they're an absolute 
deals. So I'm so happy with them and just also very happy that I didn't pay out for the real things. Then we have two pairs of Jimmy Choo dupes, which I am so happy about because these were the shoes that I had been after for so long and so tempted to buy like the actual pair of. They're definitely not like perfect. Like the Jimmy Choo's IRL are just every detail, every like little kind of like sparkle on them is perfectly placed these i think you can see with the bridge across them are not perfect i will take it because these don't have the price on them but they were probably like 10 percent of the cost of a pair of jimmy choose so i will i will take it if you've watched my videos before you will know that lots of my zara heels i have had in my collection for years and years and years and they become absolute staples in my wardrobe that they don't get daily wear they're just absolute gems and i just still love them as much as when I first got them and that's so important to me. This pair I am obsessed with, the heel is slightly higher than the other pair, they're in this lovely soft kind of tan leather and then they have the buckle strap over the top. In terms of the quality I would say this pair over the black pair, the black pair are also like a velvety kind of material so they are going to get like dust on them however these are going to last a lot better in your wardrobe I would say and the detailing on them I'm really impressed with like they feel like a much more expensive pair of shoes than they actually are and actually really comfy to walk in as well really 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 comfy i'm so impressed with them so as you will have seen in this video i styled the tan shoes with the chain detailing up with this outfit which i really love but i think these shoes would pretty much go with anything because they are such a neutral tone the tan tone of them is really like that bang on it's not too warm it's not too cool tone and apart from the chain detailing they are very minimal i find they really elongate my leg length and i just love that for me i think these might be the most comfortable pair of heels of this this height that I own. I love the height of them. I actually think this might be my ideal heel height. They're not too high, but they're not like a kitten heel either, even though I love a kitten heel. Kitten heels are completely underrated and they make me the height that I feel like I should be in myself. So yeah, I love those, but I also love these. They're so easy to walk in. The chain detailing across the front really helps to hold the shoe to your foot, but I still don't have any issues walking in them and I just find them to be really, really comfortable. Okay, and just to give you an idea of what the sparkly shoes look like, this is them. I am so obsessed with them. This is a really easy way that you can kind of incorporate them into an outfit when you're not going full on glam, like a really nice pair of black jeans, nice black top. They just add the best statement to the outfit. I absolutely love them. They also would look really cute if you were wearing more of a pair of crop jeans as well. Pretend I'm wearing crop jeans, but having your ankle out just makes so much more of a statement of the shoe. And I just, I'm so happy with them. I would like to give a personal thank you to Zara for their shoe collection this spring because it has literally made my wardrobe. So those were all very evening inspired, but moving on to something a little bit more daytime and definitely something that you could get the wear of right now. These boots I'm obsessed with. I love them so much. They are Chloe dupes. So they've got the kind of like almost sock effect over the top of the boot. They're Chelsea style, but with like a chunky sole. Very much a mix of like Chloe Louis Vuitton vibes, which I just love. I'm a big fan of a chunky boot and this style of shoe as well. I really, really like these. They are very true to size. I'm kind of still getting used to these because they have a very thick sole. They definitely need a little bit more breaking in before I can drive in them. But yeah, I really love these. They really elevate like a leggings and a cardigan kind of outfit. That's how I've been really enjoying wearing them recently. They are just great. I'm so happy with them. Next up, we have a little Fendi boot dupe, which I still love the Fendi boots because they obviously have the monogramming here, but these are like literally Literally the exact same style even down to like the leather trims and then the canvas panels with the lace up at the front they are very Fendi inspired much less chunky than lots of the other boots I own and I think that's really great these are a really nice everyday boot and I think a great one for spring I think they'll still work really well paired with like dresses like a long sleeve floaty black dress in these to like toughen them up I think would look so cool so these are the little Fendi inspired boots which I have to say I didn't really think about until I was putting them on they don't have any kind of zip fastening so every time you want to put these on and off you've got to deal with the laces and it's not ideal because they do come up like quite far into the leg they're not a very short lace up ankle boot so slightly impractical I think for 55 pounds I'm kind of like oh I think that's why they are a slightly more affordable boot because they don't have that zip closure. I personally would have been happy to pay more for a zip closure, personally. But they are very cute. They work really nicely with this outfit. I paired them with the nude skirt and then a black high neck fine knit jumper. And I just really love the whole kind of look. I really like lace up boots 
and skirts at the moment. I've really been enjoying it since kind of the autumn time and it's definitely not something that's leaving my wardrobe anytime soon. But yeah, I think these are a really nice boot. I think especially for spring, I have my knee high kind of lace up boots from Zara, which I love. But I do think as we're getting more into like the warmer weather of spring, they might become a little bit less breathable because they are a very thick leather, whereas these are much thinner. And this pair is a little bit more like of a minimalist style, very Bottega kind of vibes. It's got that minimalist look that Bottega stuff always has, but these have little laces that kind of wrap around the leg. With that in mind, I always find that not being a particularly leggy person, a particularly leggy person, wow, that was really hard to say. If I have like a big strap around the ankle, it can break the illusion of height that I try and build with the majority of my outfits. So I probably reserve these to being paired with like a midi skirt that has a slit in the side, which is already giving me some kind of leg length illusion or a little short summer kind of midi dress these with like a floaty white dress i think would be really lovely but yeah i have tried them on once thank you to everyone that gave me that tip of the fact that the black thing that connects both shoes actually like comes apart but yeah on first impressions they seem fairly comfortable i would say in terms of like walking in them fair distances this might rub a little bit but on the whole they do have the strap that goes over the foot so they are still fairly comfortable so these are the khaki shoes i've paired it with the linen cord i love it i actually love it so much more than i thought i wasn't sure that they were going to really work with the linen cord but they work really really nicely i think i will be keeping these i just think they're such a nice statement shoe for spring summer they're not too high they're going to be so comfy to walk around in. And they don't cut me off too much, I don't think. But yeah, let me know if you like them. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of everything in this haul. Like, what are your favourite pieces? Leave it in the comments. I would love to know. I think I can officially take the label off of these shoes now. But that is going to be it for me today. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. As always, I will leave as much information in the info box as I can in terms of like sizing, what I'm keeping, returning, etc. etc. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and got a little bit of inspo for spring summer. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.